the human body. It runs, it swims, it dances, among many other activities. But what if none of these were possible anymore? Without proper hydration, the heart struggles to perform all of its necessary tasks. The relationship between blood volume and the efficiency of myocardial contraction can be explained by the intrinsic frank starling mechanism and the length tension relationship. These are two inherent properties of the cardiac muscles that allow for optimal contraction with little descending input from the cardiac brain cells. If at any time a person's heart is unable to fulfill this process, they will find themselves at a higher risk for heart disease and malfunction. In some cases, the harm done cannot be undone through rehydration. By increasing water intake, the chances of disruption will occur during the process of blood pumping and myocardial contraction are minimized. Put in simpler terms, drinking water helps your circulatory system do its job efficiently. To further learn about how water is beneficial to disorders, I conducted an interview with Terry Williams, an occupational therapist at numerous elementary schools. She states, I attended an introductory training to Brain Gym presented by Cindy Golddale, MED. The 26 activities presented are broken into four movement categories, midline movements, energy exercises, deepening attitudes, and lengthening activities. Because the body relies on water for cell nourishment as well as waste removal, the Brain Gym has included sipping water as one of its 26 exercises that fall under the energy exercises and deepening attitudes categories. For our body to take in new information, experience sensory input, and respond to input physically and mentally, our nervous system relies on water for electrical transmissions to occur. Some of the benefits of sipping water include increased scores on tests when sipped before, reducing stress, improvement of gross and fine motor coordination, and increasing mental clarity.
Researchers have discovered that people who are unable to consume the proper amount of water are having to train their bodies to function at a lesser amount. Because of this, children are more prone to illnesses and are forced to push their bodies to the limit. With the diseases and common illnesses of diarrhea and vomiting, children of Africa are losing the little amount of water that they do have in their system, leading to dehydration. For this reason, those of us who have safe drinking water available need to take advantage of it and be grateful for access to such an important necessity. So next time you walk by your faucet without drinking some water, think to yourself how such an easy task can have lasting effects on your day. Or next time you feel depressed in an unstable mental state, check your daily water intake. If it is less than the suggested amount, alter your consumption patterns. Give your body the one ingredient to help aid in proper functioning. But most importantly, think. How can you help suffering countries who do not have access to a sufficient amount of water? Be the change that helps end dehydration disorders and illnesses. Thank you.